hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how to publish your raspberry pi pico w internal temperature data to hive mq mqtt broker now this hive mq mqtt broker is the cloud mqtt broker so our raspberry pi pico w will connect with the wi-fi first and using the wi-fi internet it will publish its own internal temperature data to hive mq mqtt broker and with the help of any mqtt client software we can monitor the internal temperature data of our raspberry pi pico okay and as this hive mq is the cloud mqtt broker we can monitor our raspberry pi pico w internal temperature data from anywhere in the world with any device it can be your laptop it can be your tablet android phone ios anything okay so i have already connected my raspberry pi pico w with my system so i'm going to open the thony micropython ide okay and here you can see we are connected with our raspberry pi pico w now for the code i have already created a block here and inside the block i have provided the entire code to perform this operation so all you have to do is you have to copy the code you have to go to thony micropython id you have to paste that code here and then after you have to change few things now if you are using any other mqtt broker then you have to change your broker details here as per your requirement you have to change the mqtt topic okay and here you have to change your Wi-Fi credential. So this is my Wi-Fi credential. So you can change as per your requirement. Then after, uh, let understand the code. So first of all, we have imported the necessary library and we have specified our Wi-Fi credential, our MQTT broker details. And then after, here is the function to connect with the Wi-Fi. Here is the function to read the internal temperature, okay? And uh, here is the function to publish the internal temperature to the MQTT broker on this topic. Okay. And uh, then after this is the main function, which will use the previously defined function. And here we are going to run our main function and our main function will iterate at interval of five seconds. So every five seconds, it will read the data. Okay. Or you can say it will collect the temperature data of raspberry pi pico w and then it will publish it to mqtt broker so everything is ready now we can save this file into our raspberry pi pico w on the name main.py okay and we can run this code so once you run this code it will first connect with the wi-fi okay so it is successfully connected with the wi-fi it is successfully connected with the mqtt broker and here you can see it is publishing the temperature data to hive mq mqtt broker now here is my mqtt explorer client okay which is mqtt client basically and here you can see we have our topic pico okay because uh, our main topic is the pico inside that we have the w topic and inside that we have a temperature topic so we are going to follow the same hierarchy and here you can see our temperature data uh, just a moment yeah here you can see the temperature data 33 point one three degrees centigrade okay you can also create the graph here and you can monitor your temperature data from anywhere in the world so you can put your raspberry pi at the remote location you can read the sensor data and then after you can continuously publish your data to any cloud mqtt broker and with the help of any mqtt client software you can monitor your data from anywhere in the world if you are using cloud mqtt broker and if you are using the local mqtt broker then you can do the same operation in local area network okay so hive mq is the cloud mqtt broker so that's why this uh, system is internet based system so raspberry pi will connect with wi-fi it will then after publish the data to hive mq mqtt broker which is available on the internet and then after we can use any mqtt client it can be our scada system it can be our smartphone tablet laptop anything to monitor our data okay and here you can see every five seconds we have the update so i hope this thing is clear that how you can uh, publish your raspberry pi pico w internal temperature data to hive mq mqtt broker and then after how you can monitor it and here you can get the code okay so it's publicly available you just have to copy the code you just have to change these things okay as per your configuration your wi-fi ssid and the mqtt broker details and if you are going to read any other data instead of internal temperature then you can modify this function okay so i hope everything is clear and if you still have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also send me a mail also comment on this video 
So let's meet in the future videos. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.